there are problems that are going to be there every day. When you wake up, it's there. When you go to work, it's still in the back of your mind. Um, when you're doing your chores or you're running your errands, it's there. And it's always going to be there. So to find somebody who has that empathetic soul, first of all, is very rare. So finding people who have somewhat of an experience of trauma, somewhat of an experience of struggle, will understand you better, even if it wasn't your struggle was their struggle. And I think that's critical. Um, finding someone to understand is critically important. But finding somebody who's willing to set aside what they're feeling and, and actually step into your experience and be there in the times when you're crying and be there in the times when you're remembering the joyful moments. That's important. So I think it's that really good to prepare yourself and knowing as much as you can about the company uh, for which you're interviewing. Second to that, I would uh, take out the job posting and circle or highlight all the major duties that are described within that job posting, okay? And so take, taking each, each one of those major duties, you highlight it and then you go back and think about, within my experience, how have I expressed my capability to perform this major duty? And you may want to think of two or three different examples of how you've performed that major duty in your past. And remember, it's not just what you've done, but the impact as well. I do well. think, um, again, having a military background and my father being military, I have, a, I have more of a patriotic sense about this country. All right, and the prefix is great. It lets me know my culture. Okay, culture sometimes is not chosen; it's given. Okay, nationality I can choose. All right, I'm American. I'm American by birth. I'm American by choice. Um, so I, I do think that should be the preference. That should be the emphasis. But I, I, I don't see a problem with identifying with a culture. Okay, and I think that's what makes us different to have, there's no place like that, where I have Latin, African, Irish, European, and I'm one. That's the dream. That's I'm true. one with all the different ingredients in there. Now, it doesn't work like that, but that's the dream. Um, it was quick, easy money. You always have money in your pocket. You're always with somebody because you're always meeting up with them, so you're never alone. You know, everybody wanted to be your friend. That's one thing that led me to selling drugs. That's so the activity that drugs provided filled a hole in your heart because of the family life that you had at home. Mm -hmm. That filled you with some, I'll call them fake friends, because as long as you had money, as long as you were happy, as long as you were on top, they were your friends. But That's I can true. probably assume that once things eventually tanked, Everybody scattered like rats, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's definitely... When we, when we talk uh, about communication, there are three V's of communicating. There's the visual, how you look, and that's just not what you're wearing. That's part of it, but it's how you carry yourself, how you sit. You know, do you, do you sit and are you meek or do you take up space? It's also about your gestures. Do you sit there crossing your arms or are you very open when you're talking to people? It's your facial expression. Are you smiling or do you frown? Do you seem so serious? Um, it's your eye contact. Do you look at the listener when they're speaking to you and when you're speaking to them?